Okay, Virgo, welcome to your reading for November. This is a love reading. It's looking into the energies that are surrounding you from where you are currently. This means that it may um, change over the month. Often when I do these monthly readings, I really feel like it's more about the energy of the moment, of kind of what's what's sort of coming in for you in the near future, maybe for the whole month, but it might be more the energies now, okay? So just bear those in mind as you listen to the reading. And we've got sacred sacred pleasure and unconditional trust as energies coming in for you for November. Ah, this is like about doing what you love and having trust that if you just do what you love, you're going to feel good. It might sound counterintuitive, but, you know, some people really think that it's not okay to do what they want. Similar energy came up for Aquarius as the overall month where where it's like, am, am I really allowed to want what I want? Am I really allowed to just enjoy myself? And the answer is, yeah, just, just enjoy yourself and have faith and have trust that um, it's leading you to where you want to be. So maybe it, it's something you didn't expect or somewhere you didn't expect or someone you didn't expect. But there's something about just really enjoying sensuality, sexuality, um, food, music, nature, like just really in engaging in your, your senses and your pleasures and allowing yourself to just feel it and just be with it and see, you know, see how that goes, see what happens, but just trust that that's where you're meant to be right now and it feels good because it, it is good for you. Six of Swords, I can't believe how many times, I think it's come up for nearly every reading. Six of Swords, things are getting better, things are getting better, everyone, Six of Swords, moving to a place of more calm and more peace, um, moving out of so much anxiety and turmoil and into somewhere of like a deep knowing and, and faith. Five of Pentacles in reverse, I can't believe it, exactly the same position as the last reading. And then we have the th uh, Three of Wands, Two of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups, the world in reverse, Five of Cups, Eight of Cups in reverse, the Sun card, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Mm, okay, I'm going to get some overall energies here. Okay, got come together early month or in the recent past. Motivation as the mid or current energies. One more. Divination. Okay. As the more later ones. Okay. Right. Hmm. I feel like um, there's been some kind of reconnection. It's like a um, coming, it's something you were hoping for. It's like someone has come, I feel like someone's come to you, maybe a relationship that ended. Someone's returned, basically. Something you thought was over, something you thought you were left out of that was gone. Someone's returned or you have returned. But I feel this is someone else. I feel this is someone else is returning to you. Yeah, there's been fights. Maybe you thought it was over because there was so much fighting and conflict. And it made you feel feel really cold and feel left out. But okay, as a man. As a man. A ma yeah, suddenly. A, like a sudden... Um, a sudden offer of love or a sudden... sudden um, receptivity of love may have taken you by surprise. You weren't quite aware how much you, you felt or your feelings. And, and I think there's someone back in your life. Yeah, the King of Hearts it feels like um, someone's returned home. Someone's back home. Could be a, a father figure. It could be, you know, father of your children. Or you're the father. And, and it's like this warmth and this love and this kind of feeling of safety and security 
is returning. Someone's someone's come home. This is what I'm just hearing. Someone's come home. Some somebody or something. Someone's come home. Okay, and then there's like this like what next? Okay, um, how how are things going to evolve from here? You you may be just kind of here thinking like waiting and expecting this kind of love and this passion to come through because again we've got the world in reverse it's like something's not over yeah the sun we've got the sun coming out again and again with this bright and this warmth this ex expectation um you're just um really feeling feeling so full and feeling so happy and excited about this this possibility and this um this return um yeah it's the end of again the end of quarreling the end of fighting joy light warmth coming in and you feel like taking action you want to do things maybe you want to um plan things you want to go somewhere together do things together uh and this could be where you are right now and in this kind of feel like excited expectation um really feeling um you might be feeling very sexual very uh sense sensory this is why this pleasure is coming up it's like this um looking for all these things then coming in towards the end of the month okay okay there's a realization um okay i feel like you may be really excited about someone coming back or someone else is really excited about you coming back i do feel like there might be some kind of um upset that comes in where someone it feels like someone is is um being self-centered where they're not um they're not either they're not able to really give to the situation or um they never really were giving to the situation there may be some kind of revelation or understanding uh about this something that you thought was working isn't working and there can be a break you know, they might feel like a break in the bond again. Especially if there's, um, yeah, a lack of, a lack of um, healthy communication or communication is, is unhealthy. So it can be um, bickering or manipulation or gossip or um, just fighting, like digging. I feel like, <laughs> okay, just go with it because I think whatever's coming in just allow yourself to enjoy it because we've got the trust and the pleasure card so allow yourself to engage and involve yourself and go with the feeling um and be aware in the future just just to of if if it doesn't work it doesn't work okay it might feel like it doesn't work for you you might feel like actually you know I thought this was going to be sunshine and roses but it's not, it's the same old thing and actually it's not what I want. So really, um, there's a bit of a journey, there's a bit of a journey this month for you. Bottom of the deck, deck bottom of the deck, the deck, the hermit. Um, this is all about seeing your inner light, looking inside and understanding and I feel like you're going to have like some kind of revelation from inside but it's about allowing yourself to follow your passion and your desire and what you want I think that's going to take you to this place um of of understanding of of deep inner standing inner standing where you really get what's been going on and and I you know I always think if this if this situation or relationship is not right for one person it's not right for either person okay it's, it's not meeting your needs somehow um and so just be aware, just be aware, you know, um, anything's possible, but just, just look off, look after yourself. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Risk. There's a risk. Okay. Um, disruption. Okay. So it's like, I feel like it's not set in stone, right? You can take you can take things how you want to. You can take them as um, devastating, an ending, a loss, um, not what you think they are, not what you thought things were going to be. 
or you can see that understanding is going to bring you healing, is going to allow you to grow and evolve and develop. This situation is really about learning and it's about going with it and allowing it and experiencing it and, and allowing whatever happens and knowing that whatever happens, you are still you and you still have absolute value and absolute um, beauty within you. So remember that regardless of what, what goes on. We've got transformation and fear with the swan. The swan and the fear. Um, this can be about really embracing your fears, embracing what scares you, allowing yourself to kind of dive to um, yeah, be, be led by your passion and, and trusting, just trusting that this is a part of your growth because this is what I really feel. It's about you um, evolving into a new a new way of being you know the the swan is the evolution from the ugly duckling right it's this um classic story where you you might see yourself or have thought of yourself in a particular way but this um connection or relationship is actually bringing you into this full beauty and this full glory and that can be really scary you know transformation can be really scary it's scary to take risks scary to go into this place where we evolve and we heal but this is how how we do really grow as people and how we grow to have so much strength and knowing and and real inner beauty with with ourselves movement okay it's about change it's about things shifting about allowing things to evolve and transform because we don't want to be stuck right we don't want to be stuck where we are with the High Priestess coming out, I feel like you, you kind of know. Like deep inside, there might be this knowing. Like you knew this was coming. Or you knew something was happening. You knew there was this um, transformation or a possibility that things weren't going to work. And it's the difference between trust and blind faith. Whereas when we put the trust in the universe rather than in ourselves, then we can trust that whatever unfolds is exactly what we need and is is here for our own um, for our own growth. When we put the, or our faith or our trust in someone else or in something else um, from a from an ego sense, then then we lose our power. It's like when you when you and also in control if we put our faith in our ability to control make what we want to happen always in our life then that can also give away our power it's, it's a real balance um because manifestation does not necessarily happen in the way that we think we think it does always um the manifestation happens by us creating it ourselves and then it's attract whatever we want is attracted to us if we want happiness in our life we create happiness and then more happiness comes to us okay yeah anger retaliation jealousy this could be you could be someone else um but yeah just be aware that these feelings can come up and they're normal and they're natural. It's normal for people to get angry. It's normal for people to feel jealous. Those are human emotions that we all experience. And it's okay. You might feel like you want to fight back. Something You feel something unfair has happened to you or someone may be jealous of you. Um, but this is, um, uh, this is about allowing... Um, Allowing and knowing that those are just illuminating to us what we want and what we believe really about ourselves. If if I feel jealous of someone, I'm like, okay, what is it about that person that I um, I feel I want, I need, um, or that I feel you know something? If I, com I when I compare, right? Jealousy comes when we compare. So. Um, what am I comparing? Is there something that I need to step into my power that I need to do for myself that I need to um, look after myself more? I want to uh, work out more. I need to spend more time on my work. I, I want to um, 
decorate my house, you know, whatever it is, it's about allowing um, ourselves to see those things and then take action on it. And if it's something that's out of our control, then you just have to stop comparing because you can't, you know, you can't control some things. So it's about letting that go. And I feel like um, this birth, rebirth of wealth is just have have trust that you um, you have the riches and you have the resources and you have the power in yourself to create what you want and to to bring in a beautiful life. Um, and it's maybe about a, a re understanding of what richness is or what wealth is um, for you. You might have new values or your values are changing, or you understand what's important in relationship, what's valuable in relationship. Um, you know, money is not the essence of a good relationship and can't be used as a, a negotiating tool for relationship. So what is important? What do you build a foundation upon? Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you, Aquarius. I hope that you have a really pleasurable month because I feel like there's some good and there's some challenges. It's all mixed in together and that's life. And I really hope that the um, the, the benefits are really, you really choose to enjoy those and experience those and, and let go of the things that, um, that don't serve you. Okay, so much love. Uh, have a wonderful month.